All right. Uh, version 17 is out. Let's continue with the saga. It's I was very very happy to see that uh, you know we are the save file would just transfer straight over. So let's continue the saga. What's going on? I, I had one one thing that happened. Apparently one of my my mum mapper is gone. Um, so, but that's okay. It already did its job. What I'm going to do is we're going to join the moon replacement flight in progress. Let's fly this one. Game takes a little while to load. Yeah, version 17. Take a look at the stars. Take a look at the sky. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? It's kind of pretty. I kind of like it. All right, dismiss that window. Orville Kerman is on his way to the moon. Leaving, leaving Kerbin behind, he's going to go... Where'd the moon go? Oh, it's, well, it's about to do this like eclipse business here. Uh, he's going to go take over the, the the rover that was left behind by Miguel Kerbio. And he's going to continue with his efforts in order to locate uh, the, the artifact on the moon in order to continue this their, their study into the muon emissions. I'm thinking I might do some live streaming. Uh, maybe like do some live streaming of, of having to 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 redesign, recertify uh, all the various launch vehicles. I'm actually trying something right now. I'm live streaming this one. Uh, this even right now at this very instant, there, there's like one person who's watching doing the live stream. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> and I'm gonna re do that, and I'm going to record at the same time. And you know, I don't know. We'll try it out. It could be fun. I haven't done any live streaming before. Actually, at this point, I'm already at the slow point. I should probably go ahead and do this plane change maneuver right now. Shouldn't I? Okay, plane change maneuver is underway. Okay, I would get this more or less just straight up and down like that. Okay, shut that off. Uh, ooh, wow, I'm pairing up is way, way down there. That's actually, it's too low. Let's burn prograde a little bit. Fix that problem. How you doing, Orville? Orville is smiling. He's, he's, he's a, he's a happy Kerbal at this moment. So, you know, I'm happy for him. There's, there are other Kerbals who are in his position would be freaking out, but Orville, you know, he's, he's a, he's a trooper. He's a champ. Uh, we decided not to tell him what happened to his previous two cr uh, crew members. Uh, we're just going to keep that little piece of information to ourselves. He, there's, he does not have a need to know that. Hey, as, as I'm time compressing and, and moving along, I owed an enormous, huge thank you. I think that, I, you know, I posted, I was, uh, in real life, I got, I got problems. I got issues. I got out of work and I can't really work. And that's, but anyway, uh, somebody... You know who you are, and I'm gonna, not going to share your name. But anyway, somebody decided that they'd go in and, and do this whole donation business. And because and be, you know who you are, because you did, that means that I get to, my internet will not be turned off this, this month. So, you know, that makes me happy. <laughs> means I can do more videos. Yay! That was a very, very generous thing you did. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, right about there yeah burn sideways a little bit and try to move that course directly over oops stop burning yeah I believe that tank is now done get rid of that uh, I should have been should have planned that a little more carefully now that thing is going to be in low lunar orbit forever isn't it oh well or at least until the game game version changes in there Break save files. That's always the. That's that's my that's my uh, technique for getting rid of clutter. There must be one interview I remember reading a Neil Armstrong just just a little piece of an interview. Somebody was asking him about how how he was anticipating walking on the moon, and he's and he's. Pilots take no special pleasure in walking. Pilots like to fly. <laughs> just laid it right out there. Okay, right about there. I like it. 
And then as I drop, I can do burn in a more vertical direction, bring the bring my path out past it again. Yeah, this will work. I like it. And I'm happy in this version 17 that they've developers they've fixed the um, the 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 fuel exploit so that I mean the the low throttle uh, the fuel consumption exploit so I can do these things I can do partial throttle operations without feeling like I'm cheating again so that's very good I wonder how close to that that uh, that rover I can get this thing. I've never tried to do just a like a, a precision approach, a precision landing on the moon before. So this is a this is a first for me. I think I understand in theory how to do it, and it's looking good so far. Let's see if we can slow that descent down. Let's see what's a, let's aim for like 30 meters per second right now. See this vehicle is so much lighter. Than, than the prospector. See how much more responsive it is on that throttle. Okay, we're almost there. Let's slow it down again. And kill that horizontal velocity. Slow it down some more. Okay, tell you what, let's actually kill that. Let's get a little bit of there. Okay, good. Now, um, oops, I didn't want to get a climb going. Here's, let's, let me try and get with my RCS. No, stop climbing. I'm trying to get this just pure vertical now. Okay, let's not screw this up, guys, huh? Yeah, RCS in that direction. RCS in this direction. Let's kill that rate of descent. Kill that rate of descent some more. That's not really like whoops, not that much. Damn it. <laughs> oh wow, you can tell I don't have a whole lot of practice at this. Alright, alright, come on. At least, at least we're not in not in one of these craters, you know? Okay. Okay, let's go for a rate of descent between at just a little bit, you know, between one and five. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted. Hang on, hang on. Uh, RCS the other way. There we go. That'll work. All right, let's just keep it like this, guys. Keep it like this. Oh, oh, that ground came up fast. All right, okay, thud, bang. All right, Orville, it was kind of an ugly landing, but we're down. We're safe. Nothing blew up. Uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, that was a, a kind of an inelegant approach. And <laughs> boy, got down, nothing fell off. All right, cool, cool. I'm happy with it. Extend that one out there. Orville, get out there. All right, and he'll... Orville did a more dignified descent of the ladder than Miguel did <laughs> so recently. <laughs> okay, here we are on the moon again. Makes me happy. Here, bounce. Whee! <laughs> uh, turn your lights on, dude. Yeah, he's got his, got his lights on his helmet. Yeah, if, if we're going to be setting up a... See, the plan is to set up a research base once we find the, the source of the muon emissions. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to, definitely going to have to get better at these these uh, pinpoint landings. I'm going to have to do some, uh, do some 
off-screen practice on that, huh? Wee bouncing. I would love to go to the moon and get me into some low G and try this whole bouncing business. Wouldn't that be fun? I think it would be a blast to try the whole bouncing in the low G. Okay, there's Prospector 2. Still here. Batteries haven't run down. But then he's got that he's got that uh radioisotope generator on there. In addition to the solar panels. Although looking at it, solar panels wouldn't be getting much sunlight at all where they are currently, would they? Whoops. Oh, <laughs> fud. I think that's the first time Orville actually fell on the moon. Because, uh, yeah, the, he's he has to jump up a little bit in order to grab the ladder. I think he hit his head on something. Okay, grab. Damn! <laughs> yeah. Go on, dude. You can do it. Third time's charm. Let's do it. Just a little hop and a grab. I grab. Grab. There you go. Excellent. <laughs> and board. Boom. All right. See if the muon detector still works. Sounds to me like it still works. Trek that landing gear. Okay. Okay. The muon detection. Oh, hang on. Let me. Let me. Retract my mobility enhancer. All right, all right. So the the the, the muon de emitted an artifact mission continues. I suspect it's got to be somewhere around this cluster of craters. Um, let me see my current plane. Let me see here. Now, I am going to. I wonder is that too steep? To drive. I'm gonna try and like drive between these these two craters there, and try and have a look around and see if I can see anything. Maybe I don't. I really don't know if if the. I suspect there's a strong chance that the the object may be in one of these craters. It could be behind a couple of these hills or something. Let me see which key is the parking brake. Yeah, it's the parking brake. Here we go. And well, I thought it was. Come on, guys. There we go. Yep, we're moving. Doesn't want to move, guys. Come on, what's the deal here? What's the issue? All right, that turns like that. Or was I? Oh, I was just hitting the wrong button. Well, that would, that would solve it. Oh, other way. Other way. Other way. Got to remember how to drive this thing now. Here we go. That's right. You have to steer backwards. 